Oh yes, that will be difficult. What if... What if you fuse them with my Patara? Are you completely bonkers? Wave a I was joking, old man. Besides, if anyone other than us uses Patara, the fusion will be undone in an hour, right? Yes, you're right. I had completely forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> type history in knots, you know that? I wonder what'll happen now that Boo's no longer part of the story. Any ideas? Will the God of Destruction get to eat his pudding instead of fighting Goku and all the cool stuff that followed? Boo might not get reincarnated either. Poor Goku will probably be super sad about that. Yep, I could keep going and going, but first, I'll take the energy from this change. Who the hell are you? Where did you come from? We really should do this again, okay? Bye! Welcome back! You did a great job out there! Unfortunately, we've learned something. Could you come to the Time Vault? This is the timeline where Majin Buu turns Deborah into a cookie and eats him. Except someone secretly changed it. Really? I don't notice anything different. Keep on looking! What? They tried to cover their tracks with magic, hoping and praying we wouldn't take notice. It was altered. We have good reason to suspect Toa. It was around the same time they appeared in the Time Vault. So that's when... Deborah has secretly increased his power since Toa released him. Just waiting for the moment to exact his vengeance. So, all the changes in history we've seen have been... Deborah's doing, without a doubt. While he still may be Toa's brother and king of the Demon Realm, these changes we've witnessed are something else. The alteration suggests his power has increased more than considerably. He shouldn't be able to match the likes of the resurrected Majin Buu, and given what I've seen, I'm afraid he very well might. I see. So he's a pretty big threat now. Yes, we may not know much about Few, but Deborah is dangerous. You might even see him in the next rift, so be mindful and stay alert. <laughs> 